Yo guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to boost your FPS and fix those annoying FPS drops and stutters in FC26. I literally almost doubled my FPS with just a few simple Windows optimizations, and you can do the same on your PC. So if this helps you out, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. It's free and it helps me out a ton. All right, the first thing we need to do is refresh Windows files and remove all the junk data that slows down your system. Go to the Windows search bar and type delete temporary files. Select the temporary files option. Once it opens, select everything and click remove files. This will clear out cache data, log files, and other unnecessary files that take up space and cause slowdowns. After this, your PC will have more free storage and run faster. Next, let's stop Windows from limiting your CPU power and wasting resources on background apps. Press Windows plus R, type gpedit.msc, and hit enter. Inside the group policy editor, go to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, System power management, power throttling settings, and turn off power throttling set. Turn off power throttling to enabled. Now, to disable background apps, still inside gpedit.msc, go to computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, app privacy. Find let Windows apps run in the background and set it to disabled. This ensures all your CPU power is focused on FC26 instead of random apps running in the background. All right, now let's disable core isolation. It is a security feature, but it can cause extra latency and reduce performance in games. Search for core isolation in the Windows search bar. Open core isolation settings. Turn memory integrity off. This will reduce overhead and free up resources for smoother gameplay. Now in the next step, we are gonna do advanced Windows optimization and literally it will double your FPS. You need to download this optimization and you can get it from my Discord server. Link in video description. When you open the pack, you'll see several subfolders. CPU priority, disable services, game priority, performance power plan, RAM optimization, and part control. Each one of these is designed to improve a different part of your system's performance. Next, go into the CPU priority rejetits folder. If you have AMD Ryzen, open the AMD folder and run the registry file. If you have Intel CPU, open the Intel folder and run that registry file. What this does is optimize your CPU scheduling so games get more priority, leading to smoother performance. Next, open the Disable Services folder. Here you'll find reg files to disable unnecessary background services like Xbox services, game DVR, Bluetooth services, and more just run the ones you don't use. For example, if you don't use Xbox services, disable them. This reduces background activity and gives more performance to FC26. Now open the FC26 process priority folder. Here you'll see three options, normal, above normal, and high priority. If you want the game to always run at high priority, double click on that reg file. This ensures Windows always gives maximum CPU resources to FC26 while you're playing. In the Performance Power Plan folder, run the Import Ultimate Performance Plan file. Then go into Power Options and select the Ultimate Performance Plan. This disables all power saving features and makes sure your CPU and GPU are running at their full potential while gaming. Open the RAM Optimization folder. Here you'll see options for different RAM sizes. 8 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes, and 64 gigabytes. Select the reg file that matches your system RAM. This tweak optimizes memory usage for your exact RAM size, which helps reduce stutters and improve smoothness in FC26. Finally, install part control using the setup file in the folder. Once installed, open it and make sure core parking and frequency scaling are disabled. This keeps all your CPU cores active and ready so your game never gets slowed down by power saving features. Finally, let's make sure Windows is fully optimized for gaming. Go to the Windows search bar and type game mode. Open game mode settings. Make sure game mode is turned on. Game mode automatically prioritizes your games, giving them more CPU and GPU power while reducing background activity. 
If this video helped you, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment below how much FPS boost you got in FC26. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.